Okay, so now let's actually get started with this project. So let's remove this code inside app.js, we don't need that. And let me just close this terminal and make the code bigger. Okay, so app.css, uh, I'm going to be putting in all the styles here. I don't, I don't want to bore you with styling, so you can get the styles from uh, the source code. I've, I'm going to put a link for my GitHub source code. You can find that link in the discussion section for this class. The, so in app.js, we are importing app.css. App and all our components are going to be imported into app.js so we can use all the styles in app.css now okay so now let's actually uh, get on with the redux part so let's set it up so go to your terminal create a new terminal and uh, install these dependencies so npm install redux and react redux and redux persist and uh, sorry also do dash s and then click enter so dash s saves uh, these into our package.json as a dependency. So sometimes you have issues and you would have to delete your node modules file, uh, folder, which stores all your dependencies that you've downloaded. And you'd have to delete it and download all your dependencies again. And if you don't do dash save, dash s or save, uh, then you'd have to download them one by one. Otherwise, if you have done dash s, then you could just do npm install and that would install all your dependencies again. Okay, so now let's actually set up Redux. So let's go to our uh, source folder and make a new folder there and call it Redux. And uh, in Redux, we're going to have our store file, store.js, and also going to have uh, reducer, so reducer.js, and also have some act actions. So let's make a file called actions.js. So this will all make sense later. Right now, we're just setting it up. So for store.js, we're going to get some code from the documentation of Redux Persist. So we'll just search Redux, Redux Persist uh, GitHub documentation, just GitHub, and then click on the first one, and then go down, scroll down, and go to here. So we want to copy this. This code is going to be for our store.js. So go to store.js and paste all of this inside. And uh, change this dot slash reducers to dot slash reducer because it's importing it from our reducer.js and we only have one reducer, not reducers. So change that to reducer. And also what we want to do is uh, remove this export default. It's, export, it's exporting an error function that returns the store and persister. But we just want to return it uh, like this so we can import it as uh, with object destructuring. So it's import, uh, export it like this. So do export and then the store and export the persister as well. So, okay, so now let's also set up our reducer.js. Okay, so in our reducer.js, first thing we want to do is make our initial data, so, or initial state. So const initial state is equal to uh, make an array. So it's going to be equal to an object, not an array. And uh, also we want to make a error function, we'll call it task, uh, we'll call it the expense tracker reducer or et reducer so e t et reducer and uh, this is going to be an error function that takes in the state which is if it's uh, not uh, if it's null then we'll just set it to initial state and also going to be taking an action and then uh, this is going to be an error function so let's do that Let's actually change this to expense tracker reducer. It's more neat that way. So expense tracker reducer. And uh, so we're passing in the state so we can use the state and change it about with our actions. And we're going to be passing an action so we check if the person wants to add a transaction or remove a, tra or remove a transaction. So don't worry if this doesn't make sense to you. It will make sense later when we actually do this. Right now we're just setting it up. So, uh, okay. So what we want to do is so we want to export this expense tracker reducer. So export default expense. I'll just copy it. Control C and Control V. So okay, and uh, this is being imported in our store.js as you can see. And this root reducer, the name, it doesn't have to be the same as uh, expense tracker reducer because it's not uh, doing it as object destructuring. So you can name whatever you want over here. But if you do it like this, which is object destructuring, it has to be the same name. Okay, so now let's go to our app.js. And inside app.js, what we want to do is go to our 
documentation so we want to take this this code to take all of it copy it and paste it inside our app.js okay so the store is going to and the, the store and the persistor we're going to be importing it from store.js as you can see because we're exporting it so we're exporting it inside store.js so this creates our store and our persistor so we want to import that and pass it into our root component which is which we'll be doing later and it will make sense later as well so import store and persistor not capital s and p this has to be the same name as how we are exporting it because we are uh, importing it as object destructuring so persistor from dot slash redux slash store and now we'll pass it into the provider and the persistor into the persist gate we need to import these provider and persist gate so the persist, the persist gate is being imported from uh, redux persist integration react so copy that and as for the provider we want to import that from react redux so import provider from react redux also provider we have to put it in these so and the spaces are just for neat code okay so now uh, everything has been passed in the persistor and the store so what we want to do now is make our main component for our transaction app so go to source and make a new folder and for this folder we're going to have containers which is going to be for our pages we're only going to have one page for this application but uh, we should still have our page that one page is in our uh, containers folder so main.js and we're also going to have a so wait uh, so first thing we want to do is uh, put some make the component for this file the main main.js file so we can do our uh, rc redux because this is going to be a redux uh, this is going to be a redux component so rc redux and then click enter and uh, for you this won't work because you need to install an extension which is this es7 react redux graphql react native snippets uh, if you can if you if you're not using visual studio code and you don't have this extension then just uh, create the component like this so just make a normal functional com uh, class component sorry and then import connect from react redux and uh, export it like this and uh, make these two arrow functions so also this arrow function the map dispatch to props uh, you will understand that this is later but just for now uh, make it an arrow function uh, so pass in dispatch as well dispatch arrow function and this will return an object so like that okay so now we need to actually import this main.js file in uh, the component inside app.js instead of root component so main.js is going to be our root component for now so we need to import this as also well. import main from uh, dot slash containers slash main and now it should be imported and let's just put some text over here just so we can see so hello and now let's check it we have an error initial state is not defined in reducer.js line 5 so reducer.js initial state oh we have an uh, a type over here so initial is spelled like this so now let's check initial state is not defined so to fix the other error just uh, uh, rerun the app so do that and then npm start and it should fix it it fixed it for me so as you can see I don't have an error I already have it open here so uh, so yeah so now we've put some text hello in our main.js and as you can see it's being imported in app.js and uh, we are displaying it